It's off-season time, and certainly the fans around social media is already talking about who are we going to replace there at the quarterback position. We seem to have forgotten about Sam Howell yet again. Even though the Sam Howell led the Washington Commanders to a win over the Dallas Cowboys in the season finale and looked very impressive, in my opinion, I think people still are not quite sure about Sam Howell. I think they're still looking at quarterbacks around the league that are big names like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, guys like that, even Derek Carr. And this is what I'm I'm hearing around social media, Twitter and other likes, is that we can be Super Bowl contenders with any of those guys. You know, maybe the 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 one that is still a little bit of a question mark would be Derek Carr because Derek has not had that much success in the postseason, but uh, certainly Tom Brady has, and certainly Aaron Rodgers has. Now, would Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady come to the Washington Commanders? Well, you got to look at it like this. The Washington Commanders right now, as far as the front office goes, as far as the coaching goes, the ownership, things are kind of a question mark. Now, certainly it's not a question mark that Ron Rivera and company is going to be back next year. But right now it's a question mark because we don't know who the offensive coordinator is going to be. They're still throwing, (coughs) excuse me, they're still throwing that big net out there, kind of like what Ryan Rivera did last year to try to land quarterback and, well, you know, wind up getting Carson Wentz. But, you know, we still don't know who the offensive coordinator is going to be. And we also don't know if Ron Rivera is even going to last through this first season under new ownership. I and mean, this is all assuming we're all going to have new ownership. I know right now we have not heard a word officially. So because of that, you know, we're starting to struggle that, hey, is this even going to be a thing? Having said all that, here's the reason why I think that Aaron Rodgers is not going to be in Washington. Okay. I hate to throw cold water on... um you know, people's aspirations to bring in a big Hall of, you know, future Hall of Famer like that. But it just the, the fact is, is that Aaron Rodgers is going to look at teams that he feels like he has the best chance to, to take them to a Super Bowl. That maybe the only thing that they're lacking is a quarterback. They have a, you know, solid, sustained um, situation at head coach. Uh, offense is offense that seems to fit what he has been able to accomplish or to work in for the past however long that Aaron Rodgers has been in the league. <clears throat> he's looking at things like that. He, he's looking at stability. He's looking at a team that he has the best chance to be, well, quite frankly, you know, MVP of the league because he feels like he can still be the MVP of the league. And with that being said, he still feels like he can take a team to the Super Bowl. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and down my own team, but let's just look at it. You know, the team still has some issues. We still got to address the offensive line. That That's major. You know, that offensive line has to be rebuilt. Secondly, we got to get an offensive coordinator. We got to get somebody in here who is going to be able to call plays and call the right plays at the right time, just be able to put some points on the board. And three, we got to know that we're going to have a coaching staff that's going to be around for a while. We got to know who the owner is going to be because the owner is going to likely come in and clean house. So, Aaron Rodgers, or anybody for that matter, is looking at that going, that's not a situation I want to be in. I mean, that's a situation where I I would likely kind of die out, so to speak, where careers go to end. Why would I want to come to Washington in that situation? And, you know, when I listen to Aaron Rodgers, I'm not quite sure if he necessarily respects, uh, you know, Washington as a franchise anyway. I'm not sure if a lot of people honestly really respects uh, that franchise. It used to be one of the most respected franchises in the league until Dan Snyder took over. So because of that, 
I would say that Aaron Rodgers is likely to avoid Washington at all costs. Now, what about Tom Brady? Again, Tom Brady, he's likely to play again at least one more season. I think that he goes somewhere else where he feels like things, again, are more stable, that you know you're going to have a coach for at least a couple of years. Now, it may not matter to him as much because he may decide he's just going to play somewhere else for one year and hang it up. Or he may decide, you know what, I'm not married anymore. It's all on my own, so if I want to play till I'm 50, I'm going to play till I'm 50. But we've seen in the playoffs that Tom Brady is very pedestrian when he does not have a solid offensive line. And he's got to go somewhere where he knows he's going to be protected. Right now, that's not Washington. So I would say Tom Brady is likely out of the running to come to Washington. Now, that would be that would be so great for someone like Sam Howell to sit behind somebody like Tom Brady for a year and learn from Tom Brady. I mean, I think honestly at that point you would say, okay, you know what? Sam Howell, when he is ready to be QB1 after we go through the Tom Brady experiment, that guy is really going to have all the tools he needs to succeed. But I just don't see Tom Brady coming to Washington. Honestly, what I see more than anything else is we're likely to stick with Sam Howell. We'll bring in somebody else, somebody who could compete for the quarterback position, for the starting position. <clears throat> but, you know, guys like Derek Carr, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, we know that they're coming in to be the starter, and the case is closed on that. So, because of that, I don't see Washington necessarily going after those guys. They may kick the tires and just see if it's possible, but I don't think you're going to see any of those guys come to Washington. I think, if anything, Washington would try to see if they could draft a quarterback in the draft, and really it all depends on who's there at number 16. Because right now we have to look at it. I haven't even started diving into uh, you know mock draft scenarios just yet, and I will, but... I just feel like that when you have um, Washington sitting at, was it 16? I believe it, it's either 14 or 16. You're likely not to land the top quarterback draft picks. They're probably going to be off the board from 1 to 5, or at least 1 to 10. And I really don't think that Washington is going to will and deal some of their draft picks to move up because they need to fill holes in the offensive line. I know I, I read something on Twitter this morning where um, uh, one gentleman said that, yeah, all I hear is that Washington needs to fill holes. So that's the reason why that they should stick with Sam Howell. But, you know, I, I think that this gentleman really kind of felt like Washington should will and deal and try to get, you know, move up to get that quarterback. I think I disagree with that. I think that we have more holes than what we realize, especially on that offensive line. The offensive, that offense in general is just not going to perform well with the offensive line not being able to block. I mean, you saw it, how great offensive lines help young quarterbacks and help the offense in general. I mean, you know, look at some of the plays in the Cincinnati-Buffalo playoff game, whereas some of the short yardage plays, some of the goal line plays, if you don't have a stout offensive line that can that can push guys back, you're not going to score. You're going to get stopped. Um, the same way you're looking at, and it breaks my heart to say this, but you look at guys like Trent Williams for San Francisco and how that he just neutralized Micah Parsons. I mean, he's probably going to go down as Hall of Fame left tackle. And, you know, you got to have that because that's how guys like Brock Purdy are able to flourish, you know, as a rookie that nobody had on the radar that was going to play and be undefeated. So it all starts up front. And if we're going to have the strong running game and we're going to have, you know, a quarterback that can get the ball to his weapons and get the ball downfield, you have got to have pass protection. you got to have good run blocking. 
you got to be able to push the defense back on short yardage, pick up those third and ones, those fourth and inches or whatever. So having said that, we need to use the draft to draft some big guys. Hopefully there's going to be some good guys available at the positions that we're drafting in. And if not, we're going to have to trade down. We're going to have to pick up some more draft picks because that is where I think that Washington needs to, to center their attention on. I do feel like that Washington should try to pick up another quarterback to compete with Sam Howell for the starting position, but at this point, I don't think you spend a lot of money on that. I think you just bring somebody in who could at least be a good veteran presence for Sam Howell. Maybe you try to keep uh, Taylor Heineke in there as a backup if Sam Howell does get to QB1 position, but for all intents and purposes... I don't think it's going to be Aaron Rodgers. don't think it's going to be Tom Brady. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think. Um, <clears throat> what, should, what should the commanders do? Should they go after, go all in for Aaron Rodgers? I don't think it's going to matter either way. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.